It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the spotlight is on these Chiefs burner at wide receiver. It was a nice line for him a week ago, reaching the century mark and scoring a touchdown. It's the Chief. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Chiefs now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by Gardner Minshew, six-round selection in 2019 out of Washington State. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And Minshew with nowhere to go, and they take him to the ground. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So a tough early challenge here, second and long after the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Minshew. And that's going to be in. Charles, you wonder about this defense coming in. Look, it's no secret they're playing a team that's down on its luck right now. Losers of five straight. How does that change how you prepare for a game? Well, to me, the first thought is you just get after them early, right? Take away any chance of them building any confidence. But the second thing is you prepare a little bit differently. You've got to expect this team to take chances, go for it on third and fourth downs, run a lot of trick plays, anything to try and break their losing streak. So you must stay alert and stay aware. And he'll be out right at the 35. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And it'll be Dolphin football. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And leading them out, their signal caller. Now it is fourth season in the NFL. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. There's only one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Back to throw here. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it. But Josh McDaniels, he had his mind made up on that one. He disagrees, and he'll throw the challenge for it. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. The Dolphins sitting at a very solid 4-2 record through the first six weeks. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Drake London with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Dolphins put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Crew able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. Drake London just for points, and it was finished off by a touchdown catch from Drake London. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. 
They are currently mired in a losing streak. Now they get the short week for the Thursday night game. Do you see that as a potential positive, or is this just more of what has been really a string of bad luck for them? Well, to me, it comes down to leadership, and leadership's got to spin it into a positive and make it an advantage for them. Yes, we're in a losing streak. Yes, no one thinks we can win, but we have the resources we need right here in this room. Let's go ahead and play better. Let's hang together and shock the world a little bit. Put it all together. They've got a chance of coming out with a W. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again. Just like last week, each game is its own entity treated as such. Now Minshew. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years. The arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. Minshew, first and 10. That's complete to the tight end, Warner. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Charles Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Minshew sets to throw, and that'll be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. It'll be Minshew again. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Here's Minshew. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal. After review of the play, moving on the field stand. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As mentioned, this one of the hottest teams in the NFL, riding that winning streak into this one. But now playing here on Thursday night, do you think that this helps or hurts their momentum? But ordinarily, I'd say it hurts the momentum because now you get that short week. But when a team's playing as well as they are, it actually allows them to down focus and only worry about themselves and less about their opponent. So when you're playing well, you just worry about the things you're doing well and let the opponent deal with that. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. He'll look to throw. There's Hall bringing in another one. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Back to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hall. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up when they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. They'll look to throw again. He gets it underneath to Hall. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a second and four coming up. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. 
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Drake London with career touchdown number 60. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Coup now for the point after. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was finished off by a touchdown catch from Drake London. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Free kick out of bounds. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. An eligible receiver downfield. Offense. So they say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and ten. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. On second and ten, it's Minshew being chased out left. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Flush to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and 10. He had the touchdown pass on that previous drive, number 25 for him on the year. And he'll look to keep it rolling first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got his man out of the slot, complete. The end result, 21 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone. That he's taken down, a chief sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. But well, that's what they have to do more of defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face. Not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving him up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Got his man. It's London. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Delivering another one here to Darren Waller. He's got it again. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll look to throw here. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Thank you. 
second and five. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 11 more on that one and another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two minutes to play first half. It's 14 to nothing. First and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Now Thomas. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. They run with Thomas. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. A great play there. His eighth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 21 is in. That one in the books as a drop play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30-yard line. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job. Both feet in. First down. Now Minshew on first and ten. Flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, Minshew looking to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw right side going to be caught by Waller. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Second and six. 
toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. They go play action here on first down. Gets this to Waller on the crossing route. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and four. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll look to throw. Touchdown, Dolphins! Brady Small with career touchdown number 91. He joins a group that includes Tony Dorsett and Isaac Bruce, among others. And the Dolphins are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Two able to connect on the extra point. And a round is on here in this first half. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've come to halftime after a very one. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. This one taken just inside the 10. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for him. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they get the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack and make sure you take care of the ball. They'll get 34 yards there. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. His throw incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Back to throw here. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Back to throw again. He gets it underneath to Hall. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They'll look to throw again. And Paul has it knocked loose. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. So they tried it. Not only did they not get the first, they fumbled it away. Yeah, it's one of those things where it went from bad to worse. But I know that everyone's going to pile in on the call and say, well, what are you doing? Why would you go for it there? I think the teams that are... And the Dolphins' rush gets home. Down he goes. That would have set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. 
After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll force upon him a third and 14. Well, this defense have got the four score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front, which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the scrimmage. Misses the target incomplete. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. If that's the relief that you still have the lead. The coaches look at it, what if and what it should be. Turning the ball over when they've got a chance to score more points and increase the lead, that's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking to future weeks, maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Let's just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. Times, they don't want to give up anything that's going to hurt their team. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. If they want it first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. This pass is caught by London. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 14. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. It's a gain of nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Darren Waller from six yards away. And the Dolphins have taken a five-touchdown lead. Extra point by Kuhl up and good. And that makes this 35 to nothing now. A drive that time of six plays. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by Darren Waller. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. They'll go play action here with Minshew. That's complete to the tight end Werner. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in lock. And that's caught inside the 35. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. 
One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL. Back now in Miami. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rock the quarterback? Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the defensive side of the ball, and unfortunately there, it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit it. Now Minshew has it knocked out. Fumble. We hear them discuss red zone efficiency a lot, C.D., and they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in the red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. You've got to secure it. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll be fourth down. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, it's a Pyrrhic victory at best, but Charles, no team wants to get shut out, so it's hard to blame him for taking the three there. You can't blame him one bit. It hasn't been the best performance, that's for darn sure. But there is something to be said for fighting to avoid the goose egg, and they're at least trying to finish out strong. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. We'll get another look at Drake London as this offense returns to the field. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. That one goes for 30 yards. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. They'll drop to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Drake London. His third touchdown of the game, number nine on the season. And the Dolphins add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Crew able to connect on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Over the middle complete. It's Saunders. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 
Minshew, first and ten. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own 33. But with this advantage, this defense knew the passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Uh, he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. On the ground, it's Thomas. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, the coach is coming to a game preaching total team effort. CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's It's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. When you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Very short kick taken right at the 20. KC's offense ready to take over. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. To throw again on second down. Minshew dancing to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And we have reached the two-minute warning. We'll get another look at Drake London as this offense returns to the field. Well, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now, they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so we don't have to suffer him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that mid-game trade's going to happen, but good thought. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 18 big yards on that one. And Miami first. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review of this being inside. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's got a man complete. 
And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he'll find Hall. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. They'll set up to throw. And he's got it. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. This is Thomas, and he is going to lose yardage here. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second and goal from the six this time. They'll keep it on the ground. Thomas, and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all the great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort. They want to play it all the way out. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? Then she going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Dolphins are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. This will foul. Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that penalty going to go ahead and give the other side some extra yardage. We all know it's an intense game, and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. The bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. They'll look to throw here on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. They got 29 yards that time. They'll look to throw now on first down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. 
Well, this was a blowout supported by both sides of the ball today, Charles. It would be easy to look at the offense and say, man, they were clicking, and they were, but don't forget about the effort by this defense as well. Yeah, they weren't going to let up just because the lead was safe. They wanted to play as big a part in this game as their offense did in making this blowout. They needed to be noticed as well, and they played accordingly. So for the Dolphins, the win moves them up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the Los Angeles Chargers. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, things are definitely going south quickly as they fall now to 1-6. and six. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in Cincinnati against the Bengals.